Hi. Today, I'd like to do my talk about current events in the silver world. Okay, so next item is Alibaba. So, Alibaba is a Chinese company, and years ago, eBay was doing quite well in China, and this tiny little competitor, Alibaba, came out, and they said that they wouldn't charge any fees to sellers and uh, for the next six years. And it started a revolution there. Basically, all of eBay's clients went to Alibaba, and eBay eventually closed up their China operation. Alibaba became the largest e-commerce site in the world, recently went public, got hundreds of billions of dollars, and decided that they were going to enter the American market. So they had basically the best of everything. They had the best engineers, they had a proven track record, they had really good employees, and they started a company called Eleven Main. And I thought their, um, their starting strategy was good. They did in November of last year was give a credit to anyone who bought it, something for $30 on their next purchase. So you could buy something for $30 and you could get this coupon good for another $30 worth of stuff. Uh, that's, that's a pretty good incentive. And they also had, they tried the same type of thing that they tried in China where they got rid of eBay. They offered no commissions to sellers, only credit card fees that were actually incurred. And so a lot of uh, e-commerce companies went over to 11 Main, but it was not successful. Sales were very small for everyone. And about two weeks ago, Alibaba threw in the towel, sold the company to a, an American company, uh, laid off most of the employees. It's not that easy to start a new e-commerce site. So, so talking about e-commerce sites. The newest one is called Jet. Jet went public about a week ago. They had an initial public offering and they got well over a hundred billion dollars. So there is confidence that their idea is going to work. So their idea is if you get on Jet, they do have a $49 joining fee. And once you join, you can buy from Jet. And so they're going right after Amazon. So you will see on their site your item. Let's say you want a kitchen cleanser. They have tens of thousands of items. It'll show below that the Amazon price. And then below that, it'll show the, the Jet discount. After you buy the cleanser, then you'll be shown other items from the same manufacturer, and they will have bigger discounts because Jet will save the money from shipping that the, the one manufacturer will fill the entire order. So, so it's a new idea. At this point, Jet is a money pit. It's lost, it's losing huge money doing this. They're hoping that once they get more customers, uh, once they get warehouses built, that things will get better. The other thing that they have that's kind of interesting is they have 600 partners. And so you can enter your Jet information and then buy on these other companies' websites and get a discount. Um, and some of them are, are rather large. So looking at Kohl's, 
uh, you get a 10% discount on your Kohl's purchases. At Macy's, you get a 15% discount on whatever you buy from Macy's. There is a limit of $1,000 per year for savings, but I think for the average person, if they're looking to you know, save some money, Jet is a good way to go. It's unclear, of course, whether Jet will be greatly successful or because of their losses, you know, not successful. Okay, the final item in the current events is eBay. So eBay has two parts. One is the eBay marketplace and the other one is the PayPal section. So electronic payments. And their investors about two years ago suggested that the company would be more efficient and more valuable if it was divided into two companies, PayPal and eBay Marketplace. eBay resisted that for a while, but in the end, they decided this week to divide the two companies and PayPal had its initial public offering this week. PayPal has grown rapidly and is now actually slightly bigger than the eBay marketplace. We were um, quite honored that eBay called and invited my daughter Pam to be Wisconsin's representative at the ringing of the NASDAQ bell. There are 31,000 other eBay sellers in Wisconsin and so to be chosen was, was great. She went out, uh, they flew her out there, they took care of her hotel, she went to a party, she actually talked to the brand new president of eBay, and then was present during the ringing of the, of the NASDAQ bell, and then she came home a, a day later after a few parties, so had a good time. The future for eBay, however, is clouded. You know. The sales at eBay Marketplace in the latest quarter were down 3%. It is a $10 billion company for the eBay Marketplace part. And, but if you compare it to like Amazon, Amazon is a $100 billion company that started at the same time as eBay. So my thoughts are that with their smaller size, eBay will probably be bought by one of the larger e-commerce e companies in a short time. And so probably will not be independent real much longer. So these are my current events. Thank you.